what is good people on the internet um so recently i had to convert a 2d animation into a 3d and it's surprisingly easy so i will show you how you can do that um, first of all obviously you want to drop down a geo node pop inside and let's bring in an attribute from map node also drop down a grid so basically um, if we wire this in you can see attribute from map you can use that to display you know image information so you can use this node to uh, load in your image sequence right so in my case it's this one and right off the bat you can see that uh, <laughs> it's really low res so we need to uh, increase the resolution of our grid so let's do that 300 by 300 okay so basically what we will do now we will use the color information of our uh, image sequence to extrude the mesh okay so in order to do that we need to first um let's first go to the to this icon here split paint top bottom and let's introduce our geometry spreadsheet because uh that way you actually can see your uh, attributes and you can see now we have color information right so now we want to bring down a point wrangle and we will convert this color information into a float okay so we say f at let's call it extrude that's a new attribute is equal to our color okay so now you can see we have a new attribute and now in the next line let's say if this uh well float attribute is bigger than zero so basically if that if there is something you know if there is color um we want to add the current point that we are running over um to a new group and the group is called let's let's so let's do like i add group and let's call the group extrude and let's put that to one so basically this is saying if this is bigger than zero um put it into this group and let's see so now we have on our points we have a group so everything worked okay so before we do the extrude now we have to do a group promote okay so basically you convert from points to primitives group name is extrude new name is extrude okay okay i guess we don't need a new name um okay so now the the group uh is on our primitives so now we can actually bring down our poly extrude and now we can actually select our uh the group that we created if you uh, play with the distance you can see that it works so now you can like you know, yeah like literally extrude your um your text and if you scroll down on the poly extrude you can also output back that's really important so our uh, text is closed and let's also um let's also create these groups here so front group back group and side group so now we actually can kind of like we have a group for every side of our text and the next step is to use a blast node and to select all like the, the extrude back extrude front and extrude side and then just click delete non-selected and now you can see you isolated your text and it's like actually now we have like the text but in 3d so this is really handy and now for the last step we you, you can just um use a vdb from polygons to remash this so you get like better results okay i mean i guess 0.1 is good and now you want to use uh, a vdb convert and you convert this to polygons so smooth node you put this to one and now you can see uh 
obviously you, you, you can just you know play around with these numbers so if you think this is like too like low res go back to the grid and then just put it to 600 by 600 and since we are in Houdini you can see this is updating you know play around with these uh, with the numbers play around with the settings tweak this to your needs so now you can just uh, you know drop down a rob alembic node for example and you save this as an alembic okay cool and now this should be really nice and snappy and there you go this is how you can uh yeah transform your 2d um, animation into 3d using houdini and uh, yeah now you can use this for all sorts of things you know you could use this for for example maybe a collision object for simulation you could use this to i don't know spawn particles whatever uh, get creative if this helped you out you know the drill subscribe to the channel leave a like uh, comment down below that's it from me and i see you guys very soon